We took a random weekend to head up north to Edmonton just to eat. thinking of going for like a, huh? uh, noodles so you could get either pho or you could get bbh which i heard was really good and that's where we're gonna go today so let's go grab some food. our first stop in the morning is the vietnamese cuisine noodle house Most recommended dishes to try is the Boon Ba Hue. Yo, why are you even taking me eat this? <laughs> we also ordered a few appetizers, but the crispy salt and pepper chicken wings is a must get here. Good call, Germ. Yeah, that chicken wing looks. Yeah, and it smells so good. Yeah, it looks good. Who can forget a nice glass of Vietnamese iced coffee? moments later all right so we are just arriving at noodle feast this was recommended by a friend of ours and uh, they serve hand-pulled noodles so we're gonna go check this place out What's the difference between hand pulled noodles and the sliced noodles? Noodles is more kind of like a whole fun kind of a type. And what's a whole fun? Oh my gosh, it's like thin and flat and like kind of like okay, the hand pulled noodles are like a. Are, are big and oh, it's a girthy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a girthy. Yeah, girthy. Yeah, girthy. <laughs> That's how I describe my noodles. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> If you are looking for a quick stop that won't break the bank, this place is definitely a must try. The service was quick and the food came out fast, let alone the food was delicious. First thing that we're going to do before dinner is we're going to go check out this viewpoint that's located right at the end of downtown and take a look, we're here. As the day is going on, we are now preparing for our pre-dinner over to our next stop at Baiju. So we're all ready to go and we are getting ready to go eat. <laughs> Baishu is an Asian-inspired restaurant which specializes in small tapa plates. The restaurant itself is a very hip and stylish place which they still use historical plating. These china and bowls remind me of when I grew up. We ordered special tea which of course contained alcohol in them. We 
ordered so, so, so much food to share with you guys. That was a good place to grab appetizers and have some pre-drinks, but now it's off to the dinner venue. Dorinko Osaka, located in downtown. Osaka-style street food and nightlife in Edmonton. The must tries are definitely the creamy truffle udon and the beef steak pressed sushi. And last, we finished off with the custard pudding. That's my recommendation. We are now headed to my friend's board game cafe called Board and Brew. This was a great spot to just hang out and kick it with your friends in case you don't have a space to do so. I was amazed by the variety of games this place has, let alone how user friendly it was. This also has a seasonal selection of brew to choose from. <laughs> so where are we at? Is there a Ouija board here? <laughs> <laughs> We're currently at Board and Brew Cafe. There's no Ouija boards. No, no Ouija boards. Um, oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. We are now going out to go grab some drinks. Let's go. Hi, YouTube. Thanks so much for having me out, allowing me to be in your video. Woo! We're currently on the way up to uh, Edmonton's Blue Cup patio. Out from the bar. Bottoms up! If you're thinking that we are going to eat again, you're wrong. We are just coming to this bar just to grab a couple of drinks and checking out the nightlife. This alchemy bar ended up being hidden behind this bookshelf and soon to reveal the mystery of the bar behind.
There were a lot of drinks to choose from, but I just got the Alchemy Special Long Island drink. This was a nice way to unwind from all the food that we just had and just have some good laughs to end the night. So our last stop here in Edmonton is of course the first chain that ever opened here in Alberta and coming across Canada, Earl's of Sandwich. Last day before heading out, we went to check out Earl's of Sandwich to bring home. I have been to Earl's of Sandwich only in the States, but this is the first location that has opened in Canada, Alberta. This place brings back so many memories, let alone the quality of their sandwich is a must try if you have not tried it. The quality of this specific place did not disappoint. I was still happy with the results even after bringing it home on a 3 hour drive.